I don't know if you guys know this, but before I started doing all the videos online, um, I paid the bills with photography and web design, but mostly photography. And so this company called PhotoFire, uh, they contacted us and said, hey, would you look at this? And they also threw some money in our hands, at which point I said, sure, we'll look at it. Um, and at first I thought it was just going to be, uh, you know, like a program to allow you to do cool Instagram style filters. And then I quickly realized that it's, it may look simple and may be easy to use, but it's actually really powerful. It allows you to remove a background like behind a person like really easily. And this stuff is stuff that you can do in Photoshop. Um, but this is way faster, way easier, and doesn't cost as much as Photoshop. It probably is not gonna replace like Photoshop and you know, like Lightroom for professional photographers and, and editors and that sort of thing. Uh, but for most of us out here, uh, this is a pretty interesting program. So we have a photo editor, photo cutter, photo eraser, there's a photo maximizer and some other things. I'm gonna go through and show you guys how to use these things so you can see what you can do. Okay, so I have Wondershare Photo Fire here and I've got a whole bunch of photos. And if you guys didn't know, I used to do a lot of photography, uh, but it was kind of weird. Most of it's not safe for work, so I don't really, uh, don't really show most of it, you know? So anyway, I'm gonna use that to show you the programs that come with Photo Fire. First off, let's jump into the photo editor. This guy is the, the king of Portland. He was just walking by my window, but it has nice background blur here so we can do some stuff with that. When you first open it up, you've got all these effects, just very similar to Instagram, uh, but a little more powerful. And everything is big and easy to use, even if you're using like a touchscreen or a surface or you know something like that, uh, this should be pretty easy to use. Now I find that some of these black and white filters, like intense here, you just hit this and you're good to go. So if you're not like, you know, doing professional editing, this should be just fine. Uh, down here on the bottom, you can compare the original with the edit that you're playing with. But if you want to, you know, jump past all the filters, you've got all these vintage filters and just all kinds of things right here. If you want to jump past that, well, you can come over and do all the adjustments yourself right here. Everything from temperature, uh, hue, and then as you can see here, uh, clarity is kind of, uh, I guess, how much things pop from the contrast areas. Let's get a better photo. Now, one minor gripe is this this uh, program does not work with digital negatives or raw images as of yet. So, uh, Wondershare, please update this to work with those files. I know most people that are going to be using like raw images are going to want to use Photoshop or uh, Lightroom. But, you know, for quick adjustments and just like throwing something out there, this would be a good, uh, good way to start. This needs a little bit of uh, sharpening. So, uh, vignetting is nice to add onto photos, really pulls the focus to the middle. You guys can do creative blur if you want to. Oh, how about that? Oh, frames. If that's something you want, make it look all fancy. That's a bit much on the light leak, but luckily we have the opacity down here. Oh yeah, getting that Lomo light leak going. Uh, but this can kind of quickly add something to your thumbnails, especially if you're, you know, if you're just thinking about using it for images you're throwing online, that's one thing. But if you want to add a splash of color, that is a good way to go. Add a little light leak on there um, and it really makes your thumbnail pop. So think about it that way. You've got your uh, grain, your noise, and you can set it up to do all these different modes as far as, um, you know, you do darken if you want to. It's gonna look a little weird. Hard mix. Look out. I'll put it back on overlay. Film styles down here. Uh, it doesn't seem like you can stack these, so you'll have to save it and then add a new effect afterwards as far as the different uh, textures go. It's intelligently adding like this is going in and adding um, a little background bokeh around there, which are the out of focus areas, but this is specifically adding the blurred lights. Let's pull it up all the way so you guys can see. It's a bit much, but you know, hey, we're making something here. Actually doesn't look <laughs> as bad as I thought it was gonna look after adding all this stuff. Um, double exposure will allow you to cut out the foreground and, and then mess with the background. But let's show you that now. You can even add text in here if you wanted to do some quick text. Um, pretty easy. All right, now that's just the basic photo editor. Now, if you guys come up with something that you really like all on your own, you can save the setting as a new effect. So you can make your own stuff, save it, name the effect, and it'll show up here, or actually down here under the uh, saved effects. So now let's check out Photo Cutter. All right, this is a creepy image I took a long time ago when I was like 12 years old. All right, so this is where we get um, into some really interesting stuff. You can actually remove the background or you can paint the areas to remove or keep. So you grab your brush size and you can do this with your finger or whatever. And you don't have to be really precise with this. Uh, let's say this is scary, let's remove it. So 
I'm gonna paint this area out right here and it will try to do some algorithms to remove this guy from the back. All right, let's see if that's good enough. A bit much. All right, we're gonna have to paint some areas to keep now, but it looks like it's gonna cut out most of the background for us. So gonna, I wanna keep the foreground focus here. So it's quite a bit quicker than doing this in Photoshop typically, depending on the situation. Now this one is a rough photo to work with because the background is almost the same color as the foreground. You can save it and go in and add your own backgrounds or whatever. I've got some stuff already there that you can add in, but you guys can put your own background here if you like. So put her over there. Uh, you can do a better job, but this is, it even did a pretty good job up here with the, uh, the, the hair. This is not something I would use for a professional gig, but it's kind of fun um, to mess around with. Go ahead and add our own in there. Let's see what I've got here. Okay. <laughs> Why not? Because you could do it. All right, let me show you something else that's kind of a kind of witchcraft here. So that's that, and then you got all your cropping tools over here. Easy to use. All right, so that's your photo cutter. Just easily cutting out the background. Check out the photo eraser now. All right, so the photo eraser, um, if the background is all kind of the same color, like this, it's gonna be really difficult for it to erase, but it'll allow you to actually remove things out of the background and then it'll use some algorithms to compute and figure out what it should uh, replace pieces of the background with. Let's see if we can remove me. I don't know if it'll work or not, but let's just try. Gonna erase me out of here. There, if you erase that, you won't even be able to tell it's me. Now we're getting somewhere. All right, now we also have lasso selection tool if you wanted to come up in here and do the lasso selection. You can do that. And then polygon selection tool. You can, you know, create polygons. All right, erase again. We're getting somewhere. It's doing a pretty good job of filling that in. A few more of these and it should be quite a bit faster than Photoshop. So this thing on the wall right here, I wonder if I can erase that out. Let's just, uh, let's brush it out. I'll brush you right on out of there, buddy. All right, will it be able to compute even though this is a busy scene with all kinds of stuff? Let's see what it does. Hey, that's actually, if I showed this to somebody, they would probably never know anything was there. There's also the uh, clone stamp tool. If you're familiar with um, a lot of editing programs, you'll know what this is like. So you, so you select a source to duplicate, just standard old clone clone and paint stuff. So while this program you know, may look pretty uh, simple, you can actually do some pretty advanced stuff with it. And I think the results are pretty good. It looks like it wasn't even there. So I'm happy with that. I wanna see if this can remove the background on maybe this one. All right, can we remove the, the background? Let's just tell it to get rid of, oh, well, it's too small. Well, it knows. That's pretty smart. All right, let's get rid of this. All this over here. And let's get rid of this over here. And this and this. All that, let's get rid of it. Okay, we can get rid of this too. So as you can see here, this is way faster than using Photoshop to do something like this. There. And if I wanted to come in here and get a little bit nerdier and mess with it, I could. Let's give it more edge blur. That's a bit much, but you guys get the idea. That worked pretty well. All right, let's do something awful. <laughs> it kind of works. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm just goofing off at this point. All right, so this doesn't work with every photo because in a photo like this, the quality is not very good. You know, I just randomly took this in a super dark, um, you know, it's actually a restaurant in Boston, but being able to cut out the background is gonna be difficult. So let's just see, because I mean, all these colors are kind of bleeding together. I don't think it's gonna work, but we'll, we'll find out I'm over here. Oops, I just, I've removed his head, whoops. Yeah, see, it's, it's the red is going on to the guy. Um, this photo doesn't have enough information to do proper uh, computations. So no real program is gonna be able to perfectly do this yet. I'm using a huge brush here, but hey, what do you know? God, this thing's pretty smart. Okay, I can, I can live with that. I didn't think it was gonna do so well. Sure, that works. All right, guys, so this program is even more powerful than I thought it was uh, when I first started looking at it. 
And again, that's because the interface is just so minimal and simple. Uh, would I recommend it? Yeah, if you want something that's fast and uh, does the job like this. In fact, I think we may actually start using this for some of our um, thumbnails because it is quicker and you know we just like to do something quick and easy for the thumbnails. All right, photo focus is really handy um, when you're doing just, I guess, minor adjustments to your photo. I'm talking like sharpness. I actually made her eyes pop it quite a bit. Bring that down the radius. That's the edge. It just finds where the contrast is and makes the edges sharper. Basic adjustments here. And our creative blur and our vignette. So the main thing with this one is just the sharpness. Now, one thing I do wish is I wish that um, I wish that all of these things here under the photo fire uh, banner were all just under one program. If I had access to the cutter, the eraser, maximizer, and everything all right here under the photo editor, that would be cool because sometimes I want to do, you know, like a bunch of stuff to a bunch of different photos and I'm going to have to jump back and forth between each one of these and that's going to be kind of a pain in the ass. So if they could do that and give me raw support, I would actually use this program quite a bit. As it stands, very interesting program. I do recommend it. If you guys have alternative programs that do similar things, let us know in the comments. Uh, but this is the first I've seen that does this many different things uh, this well and is this easy to use. So check it out from Wondershare. And guys, if you like the content, please check out our t-shirts and our hardware. It's the best way for us to support you while you're supporting us, supporting each other as a community should. And the music is awesome. I think so, but I'm biased. All right, check it out, guys. EpicPants.com. See you guys later.